Hi there, it's me Megan, and here we go again with another segment of the Learn to Monetize More video series. This tutorial will teach you the basic techniques of troubleshooting DFP ad delivery issues with the use of the Google Publisher Console. The Google Publisher Console is a powerful on-screen debugging tool that allows publishers to troubleshoot ad delivery problems. When ads don't display properly, you can use it to inspect code elements to unearth the source of the problem. This is why it's important to get to know this tool and use it as frequently as you need. The Google Publisher Console can be a very helpful friend, so let's get you acquainted. One of the benefits to using Google Publisher Tags GPT, is that they have a built-in debugging and support tool. It's this tool that is what we call the Google Publisher Console. If, however, your network runs Google Ad Manager Tags GAM, then you can check out another debugging tool called the Debug Tool for Dart for Publishers. Interested in learning more? Check out our tutorial session, Google Publisher Tags 101. One of the most common tagging errors publishers come across are JavaScript tagging errors. Fortunately, JavaScript tagging errors are precisely what the Google Publisher Console is designed to pinpoint. The Google Publisher Console scans all of the ad units on your web page and provides a visual overview of each ad unit and creative on the page. The overview can assist you with debugging the JavaScript errors. Additionally, this visual acts as an alternate way to gain entry to DFP's front end. First, go to the web page with the ad that is giving you difficulty and append question mark Google underscore console at the end of your page's URL. For example, if your web page URL is www.monetizemore.com slash recipes, we would modify the URL to www.monetizemore.com slash recipes question mark Google underscore console. Next, we need to be able to open the console after the page is loaded. There are two ways of going about this. One option is to use keyboard shortcuts. If using a PC, press Control F10. If you're using a Mac, press Function Control F10. If you'd like the console to open up automatically once the page is loaded, you can skip the shortcut keys and instead append question mark googfc at the end of your page's URL. If you take either of these routes, your final URL for www.monetizemore.com slash recipes would look like www.monetizemore.com slash recipes question mark googfc. If you're on a mobile device and would like to check your web page, you can append either of these tags to your URL as follows question mark googfc. Once implemented into the domain URL, a button will display at the bottom of your mobile screen. This button will allow you to open the publisher console. The console will open with a new browser on your device. Now that we have the Google Console enriched URL in place and the console opens up, we will be able to view the two main features of the console, the Add Slots tab and the Page Request tab. The first feature I'd like to point your attention to is the Add Slots tab. Let's click on the Add Slots tab and explore what kind of information we can dig up about our ad slot. As you can see, there is a variety of detail including the publisher's DFP ID, the creative size, the time to fetch and render this ad, in other words, the loading time, and finally, links to helpful debugging information. When you are trying to determine the issue of why an ad is not displaying, pay special attention to these three links at the very bottom. I'd like to give you a quick overview of what each of these three links provide. The first link is called Open Ad Unit in DFP. This link allows you to open the ad in the Inventory tab of your DFP network. You must be logged in to a DFP network to open this link. The second link is called Delivery Diagnostics. This link opens up a new browser window with more detail on each line item, what they are serving, and other line items that are eligible to serve that ad slot. Again, you must be logged into a DFP network to open this link. The third link is called Open Creative in a New Window. This link does exactly as its title suggests. It opens the creative in a new window. The second feature within the Google Console is called the Page Request tab. If you'd like to find out how an ad loads or behaves, see what key values are released, or if you're troubleshooting slow load times, this is the place to be. Let's click on this tab and explore the details. There are a variety of components to look for within this tab, such as time to fetch and render ads, HTTP user agent information, a timeline of events and ads rendered, a sequence of events that occur upon each page load, 
key values released, and finally, if there are no tagging errors, you will see a green check mark with the message, Page Tagged Correctly. In addition to the Add Slots and Page Request tabs, you will also find at the top right corner within the Google Console a Settings page. It's represented by a cog icon. You can navigate to the Help Center from within the Settings page. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.